Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and some time ago, Apple announced that RCS messaging would be making its way to iOS. iOS 18 beta two finally added the option for RCS messaging the other day, but it didn't seem to be active, but now it definitely is active on some carriers. Rich communication services or RCS as it's currently known is working in the United States on specific carriers. It seems to be Verizon, AT&T and T-Mobile. Some of the third party carriers don't seem to be working right now. And outside of the United States, I would expect it to work a little bit later, probably by the time iOS 18 launches to the public later this fall. Now, if you're on the beta, you can actually activate this by going into your settings. Then we'll scroll down to our apps. Then we'll go down to messages. So we'll go all the way to messages and within messages, scroll down and you'll see RCS messaging. If you have the option and it's available on your carrier and in your country, if you have that, make sure it's enabled. If it's not showing up, I'll show you that in a moment, toggle it off and then back on. Now, one of the advantages of RCS messaging is it can add encryption, but it's unclear whether or not Apple will actually do this, but we do have the option for read receipts and within messages up here, just make sure it's enabled if you want to see that. And let's go into our messages. Now within messages, you'll see, I have my iPhone on the left with iOS 18 beta two, and I have a Google pixel eight a on the right. This actually has RCS messaging. As you can see here, the same thing is true here, right within the message, it says RCS. So as long as it says that this should work. So let's go ahead and try a few things. So this is a new message and you'll see all of a sudden it pops up and tells me that someone's actually typing. We'll go ahead and send it and then it goes through. You'll see, we have read receipts here already that show up. And again, it shows the read receipt over here. So it's showing the read receipts back and forth. And that's one of the updates with RCS messaging. Something else that it shows is tap backs. So for example, let's go ahead and press and hold. We'll give it a thumbs up and we'll see that come across over here with a thumbs up animated and everything. Again, if we press and hold, maybe we want to give it exclamation points. It'll switch. It switches over here. The same thing is true here. If we press and hold, we'll say this is a new message. And then you'll see, it says, this is a new message. We'll press and hold and then have a little reaction to it. And it shows up over here. So these are working back and forth. Then again, we can press and hold on this slide over and we have all of the same options in Android, but also on iPhone. So if we want to go back over, press and hold on test, of course we have similar options. So again, this is from RCS on iOS. And if we do press and hold and send it with a slam, these actually don't seem to go through just yet. So you'll see, it says this is from RCS on iOS sent with a slam effect. Now I'm in a group message. You can see here, I have one that's connected to this Android phone and the other person Brom is actually on messaging on iOS 18 beta two. So you'll see, it says RCS it's connected to both. And if I text from the pixel, this works with RCS and then I can tap and send and it doesn't act weird at all. So I can press and hold add reactions like you normally would and maybe just give a thumbs up there. It works and then comes across to iOS. No more issues with group messaging on iOS between Android with regular text messaging. So this should fix all of those issues with RCS. I'm not able to unsend this. It looks like, but at least we have all of these things back and forth. The other great thing you can do is you can send messages over Wi-Fi, not just mobile data, and you can share higher quality photos and videos. So if we go ahead and share a photo, we'll go ahead and send a photo of the watch band I'm currently wearing and let's see how it goes through. Now it looks like it might be a little bit buggy, but this actually says RCS again, it switched to SMS. You'll see when I sent the actual message with the photo. So let's see if we can send another one here. So now it says RCS and it says text message RCS. So this time it actually sent properly with the proper resolution where we can see the photo itself. So this is great. We can save this photo if we want, and then we'll have a high resolution version of it on Android. This is something we couldn't do before, which should be great. So this is great that it's working back and forth. Again, you can send high resolution photo and video back and forth and it should work whether or not it's fully encrypted. Again, we don't know just yet, but that's something I really hope they bring with this. 
Now, some people have said this is only working on Google's messaging app, their own messaging app, but it seems to be working for me just fine and sending across carriers. I have Google Fi here on the right, which is basically T-Mobile and then T-Mobile on the left. So it seems to be working. So that's RCS messaging and how it works on iPhone with iOS 18. Expect this to roll out to all the iPhones when iOS 18 launches this fall, typically in the second week or third week of September. So that feature should be included and it doesn't say that it's limited anywhere. Apple could change this by the time it's released to the public, but at this point it looks like it's going to roll out everywhere. Hopefully it does. And let me know what you think of RCS in the comments below. Will this be super helpful or is it something that you just won't use because you don't use iMessage? If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, of course, I'll link it in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.